Okay, so I'm so excited for this Zoom. Um, I think someone's still on mute. <laughs> I cannot find them. Okay, I think we're good. Okay, so I'm so excited for this Zoom. I just wanted to go ahead and do this Zoom for you guys with a lot of our amazing leaders. Um, we have an awesome lineup for you guys just talking about the holiday season, how to work your business for the holiday season, um, how to get the best results now, but also the mindset to have going into the new year, going into boom season, all of those kind of good things. So we're going to have all the tips for you guys, including working your business, you know, time management, mindset to have, and all of those good things. So I am so excited. So we're going to go ahead and just jump in. Um, we're going to start with Tracy. Can you unmute yourself or do I need to do it? Mm -hmm. I think Tracy got off for me. Oh, she said she's logging back on now. Thank you. It's not Tracy, are you on here? Can you unmute yourself? I can't find you. <laughs> Wait, Courtney, she got off. Can you hear me? Okay, yeah. Kayla, go ahead and start. Okay, if you're on the Zoom, make sure that you mute yourself because we don't want to hear any of your personal conversations, anything that you don't want us to hear. So if you don't know how to do that, go down to the bottom and um, you should be able to click the, the microphone and it says mute. So just make sure that you're muted. Um, okay, so hey guys, I'm so glad to be on this Zoom tonight with my sweet little Courtney and some of my other favorite leaders. Um, so y'all, this can be a challenging time sometimes because you kind of feel like you're spinning your wheels and maybe not getting a whole lot of sales um, like you were at the beginning of the year. And I just want you to know that that's totally normal. Um, I've been in this business almost four years and um, you can definitely see the trends. So, um, you know, at the beginning of the new year, you're going to have a lot of business. You're going to be making a lot more money probably than you are at the end of the year. Um, and that's just sales. I want you guys to know that, that is just the business of sales. Um, and that's with anything. Um, I kind of gave the example of buying a boat the other day. Um, you know, boat sales aren't going to be up in the middle of winter. They're going to be up at the beginning of spring and summer because that's when people are getting out on their boats. Um, it's kind of the same with our business. A lot of people aren't truly focused on losing weight or getting super healthy around the holidays. There's so much going on. Um, but, they, but then at the beginning of the year, they're ready to go. Like they are ready to order. So, but here's the thing. You have to be hustling so, I love the name of the Zoom because it's Holiday Hustle. You have to be hustling so hard right now because um, you want them to come to you January 1st. But if you haven't been posting, if you haven't been planting seeds, if you haven't been messaging or talking to people about our products or our business opportunity, they're not going to know to come to you. They're going to go to me or Courtney who have been consistent with posting and talking and messaging. Um, you know, my list, I'm making sure that I get at least one person, one new person on my list, um, who I've talked to about the business every day. And I want like two to three new people that I've talked to about products every day. So how do I get those leads? I make sure that I'm asking people to host a post for me every single day. Um, and I have people post about the business opportunity for me as well as products. So I'm sending messages to all of my friends list on Facebook and Instagram every day. Um, I, I'll, I'll do on Instagram, I'll do like batches of 10. So, you know, I'll send 10 early morning, 10 mid morning, 10 around lunch, 10 around the afternoon, 10 in the evening, maybe 10 more late evening. Um, and then on Facebook, kind of the same way I'm sending, you know, more host to post messages. Um, you have to make sure that you're sending lots out because you can, you can, be sending somebody, if you're only sending like five, that's probably not enough. You've got to be sending, you know, it's a numbers game. The more messages you send out, the more people are going to post for you. So you have to remember that. Um, so besides messaging and getting people to host a post for me, I'm having, I'm adding to my network. So I am, this is a great time to kind of clean up your network too. So what I'm doing is I'm going through my friends list. And while I'm asking people to host a post for me, if I see somebody on there that, you know, just isn't really doing anything for my business. If we were friends back, like way back in the day, like we don't talk anymore, like I'm gonna unfriend them. If I've asked them to buy a product five million times and they've never said yes, um, 
I'll probably leave them on for a little bit, but if I've asked them to host a post three times and they've never responded to me, I'm going to unfriend them. I'm going to go find somebody new. Um, so then that's when I go and I'll go to my groups on Facebook or just, you know, different brand pages and, and add new friends. I'm making sure that I'm adding new friends on Facebook and Instagram. Apple. It's juicy. Um, Hey, y'all, make sure that you mute yourself. I don't want to hear anything that I'm not supposed to hear. Okay. I'm always afraid of that. Okay. So, and then, um, po like posting on my stories, like double posting on my story. So every day I'm, I'm talking about the business opportunity on my stories. Every day I'm, um, posting about the products on my stories. I'm just double working my business. When I feel like things aren't, um, like I'm not getting as many leads when I'm not, um, you know, getting as many sales, I go harder. I don't sit back and like do my whiny voice and then like, nobody wants these products. Nobody's joining my team. Wah, wah, wah. Maybe I do it for like a second, but that's it. And then I get over it and I go hard, like harder than I ever have ever had before. When I mean go hard is I, I do more, more of what I know to do. These things are simple. I just do more of it. So I send out more messages. I send out more friend requests. I talk to more people. I post more. Um, <laughs> But if you're not doing those things right now, you're not going to reap the benefits in January, February, March, April, May. Um, I've had, I've had huge checks in those months, but it's only because I've always been consistent in the fall and winter and in, in, in from October to December, it's because I've been consistent. So you have to remember that if it will, you will get the reward, but you have to stay on the path. And then it's also important to make sure that you've got a good mindset. So if you're, doing all these things with a negative mindset thinking, okay, this girl's going to tell me no. Okay. She doesn't want to do this. Like, okay. She doesn't want to join the business. I'm not going to get any blah, blah, you know, whatever it is. That's what you're going to get. So you have to think like, okay, I'm going to sell these products. Maybe she won't buy today, but I know she's going to buy soon. Um, I'm going to plant these seeds about the business. I know they're going to join soon. Um, you have to have that positive mindset. So you know, really evaluate your thoughts and what you're thinking because um, what you think is what you're going to get. So um, I just want you guys to remember that. Um, and I think that is what I have. Is that all you needed, Courtney? Did you want more? No, that's perfect. And one of the things that I love, and you posted this on our team page too, so I already heard it from you, but just reiterating that, like, if your business is going slower, if business is slower, up your game. Like the more you do of it, the more result you're going to get back anyways. And so obviously if you up your game, you know, what's working in boom season, you might be able to message 10 people a day and get 10 potentials. But during this time of year, if it's, if you're not getting that up your game and you're still going to get however many potentials you want, you just have to message more people or do more host books or whatever. So thank you, Kayla. And then, okay. I think I saw Tracy on here now. If I can find you again, if you can unmute yourself, do that. Okay. Can you hear me? Okay. Yes. Go ahead. Okay. Sorry about that. I feel like it's like follow up Friday because when Mark gives us something, we freaking run. I mean, that's how I work it. When Mark gives us something, I freaking run. And I, I, I literally have not even brushed my hair today. Um, and that's what I want to tell you guys about this because last year at this time, this is like the most exciting time. This is, this is it right here. This is when you need to be working your hardest. Um, last year at this time, I was working as an ER commoner in the ER on night shift, trying to work this business during this busy season. And, and I still did it. And I promoted all every month through fall, winter, and into spring. It was really what month after month after month after month. The, di the double diamond, the triple diamond all came after the first of the year because what I did right now, what I did right now, and if you think about it, right now, and I remember being working at Trauma and like, oh my gosh, and we finally got them all stable. And I'm like, okay, I got to go take a break because we have the Bogo sales on. You take advantage of every freaking chance you got to pick up that phone. You do your day, but you still pick up that phone. You're going to be on that phone anyway. So add people, be messaging people, spend five minutes here, five minutes there. It kills me when people tell me they don't have time because they have no clue what not having time means. And right now, if you think about it, the reason, this is why I think it's so good right now, is if you think about it, people are getting that holiday spirit. People are more um, 
they're more um, caring, they're more nice, they're more willing to hear from you. Everybody's in a good mood, everybody's shopping right now. This is the time that you want to be talking to people, you want to be growing your friends list, interacting with people, talking about these products every freaking day. People are online shopping right now like crazy. There, nobody goes to stores by rain anymore. So you've got that holiday mood. They're in the spending mood. They're also going to be in the, the mood of, man, they're stressed. They, they want to get healthy because they're drained. They've been working. They're trying to do Christmas shopping. They're all holiday stuff. And they're like, oh. And then they see your post about being, oh, I remember the days of being tired and stressed. And you got your keto coffee in your, in your hand and your keto energy. And they're going to be like, holy cow, I need that. I need that like right now. And if you find people that that aren't ready right now, they will be your customers in January and February because after the holidays are over, they've got money again. If they tell you, I love when people come, well, I don't have money right now, but after the holidays, I'm like making a list. Those are the people I'm getting a hold of in January. I'm going to send them a follow-up message. And that, they're going to end up buying because they're going to be like, yes, it's time for me now. It's time for me. Everybody wants to lose weight. And um, then you got tax season after that. Everybody's getting their taxes back. In February or March, the orders came in like crazy because everybody got their taxes back. But if I hadn't been planting my seeds in September, October, November, December, I wouldn't have had that those people to, to be ordering from me. You have got to, <clears throat> like, Kayla said, be posting extra right now. Just put it in their face. Um, think about it. <clears throat> Sorry. Think, this is my like favorite thing lately. Is um, Think about if you were to go open a store. If you were going to open a store down on Main Street, a bakery or whatever it be, you wouldn't just go rent the place and open the doors. You wouldn't because there's nothing inside. You would be getting the inside ready. You'd be you know, getting all the prep ready, all your advertising. That's how I like to think of this time of year right now. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm losing my voice. I've talked to so many people today. The other thing with these BOGOs, BOGOs, everybody should really be on their phone right now messaging people about these BOGO deals that are coming out on Wednesday. I've already got a list, a list of almost 30 people to put orders in on Wednesday because you get ahead of the game. So you do, you got to work it smarter, not harder. Um, be messaging people. Follow up with the people that have the that you talked to about TFX cleanse and carb control. Tell them, hey, I'm so glad you waited because we got this huge deal coming out Wednesday. Now you can get a free bottle of carb control and free shipping. True. I, everybody I messaged that to was like, I'm in. That's awesome. I'm taking it. So you got to think. Start planning. Um, You've got to get your posts ready. I've been working on stories to hit hit my stories on Wednesday. I'll probably start sharing them tomorrow. Um, but you get them ready. And then that way each day you can just throw them up and then get on with your day, get on with your messaging, whatever. But this is not the time that you want to be sitting around. I can guarantee you that. This isn't the time where you want to say, I want to do it tomorrow. Because um, tomorrow's not going to help you. You've got to, you've got to jump into it today and go for it. And I'm telling you, then you're going to be sitting here like me next year as a retired nurse making five years and going, thank God I did that. Thank God I did that. So that's, that's like my preaching, my preaching for the day. I love that. And one thing that you said that I just like kept going, like, I don't even know if I heard the last part that you said, because I just kept repeating it in my head. Like, now is prepping season. Like what? I've never, I mean, obviously we think of it that way, but just like saying that like right now we are prepping for boom season and everything that you do right now is either going to make it a make it or break it boom season for you. And that's going to decide how big of a boom season that you have. And so if you think you're going to sit back through these last couple months of the year and just be like, I'm just going to chill. And then when boom season comes, everything's going to be great and not, I'm going to promote and whatever. It's not going to happen unless you do the work right now. Like you're prepping right now. I freaking love that. So thank you so much. Um, do we want to move on to um, Alyssa? If you can unmute yourself, girlfriend. Can you hear me okay? Yeah. My Wi-Fi is a little funky right now. Um, hi, everybody. My name is Alyssa, as Courtney just said. 
and my profile says. Um, but I'm so excited to chat with you guys and it's probably gonna sound a little bit like a broken record, but it's because it's all about consistency in this business, but consistency in everything that you do during this boom season. You're gonna hear all of us talk about boom season. And January in the health and wellness industry is when everything explodes. Everybody's ready with their New Year's resolutions, they're ready to rock and roll, and you need to be the one that's planting the seeds in their heads of where they're going to go and where they feel comfortable going when they're ready. Um, so something you want to make sure that you're doing every single day, and it's going to feel maybe like host to post is broken. I keep hearing people say this. Host to post isn't broken, you guys. If you're having conversations with people and you are adding people because they've been interested in product, these people are still potentials for you. And guaranteed you're having conversations about these amazing BOGOs that are about to start on Wednesday. I went diamond during Black Friday last year, and that was like a huge thing for me. Um, and I'm sure a bunch of you guys are gonna be promoting too over this week, so hustle hard, honestly. Nothing is out of reach. You have almost a full week to work. Um, and people just, even just hearing the word BOGO is like magic to people. So make sure that you're following up with past conversations you've had, past host to posts you've done, something I've been doing is prior to Connect app being amazing. And if you're not on Connect app, start figuring it out. Um, but what you can do in Messenger is type in up at the top where you've had conversations, just keywords. So what I've been doing with that specifically is just typing in the words of the BOGO products that we are going to be launching on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, because those people are people that you've had conversations with, as well as going through your e-suite and writing down all your loyal customers. Obviously you can do this in Connect app too, but I've been contacting everybody who has ordered those products previously that I know that love those products. These are all chances for you to get your BV up. And I know, Absolutely, every single one of us, whether you're a mom, a student, stay-at-home mom, dog mom, I don't care what you are, everybody's about to enter a super, super busy season going into Christmas with travel and family and celebrations and everything. You just have to make a decision to prioritize the vision that you have for your future and that that is so important. And like Tracy said, you can take time throughout your day like she did when she was nursing and you can do 10 minutes here, 10 minutes there. You're already guaranteed you're pulling out your phone at least a hundred times a day. And if you're not doing anything for your business that's beneficial to your business, you're literally wasting your time in this season and you have no right to complain that your business is quiet. If you're not taking the time to do that, you need to be prioritizing your business, especially during planting season. Yes, you can have those brainless moments, but just make sure that you're having where you're covering your income producing activities more than anything. You can get covered in the fluff of the business where it's really fun to start like creating your posts and creating your stories and you need to be doing that and being really consistent with that. But make sure you're getting those host to post out. And I always tell my team like, if you're asking five people, obviously that's not gonna be enough. Like I aim to hopefully get up like 20 a day, hopefully. Um, obviously that's not the case every single day, but if you're getting up, I kind of did like numbers because this business is all numbers. So if I get up 20 hosts to post, 15 of those might just suck. Not a single comment, not a single like, nothing I can do with it. You might get three that get a few comments and then you might get two that blow up and blow up like five comments and then you might close on one of those. But to me, doing that work in one day to get one sale if you do that every single day over the month, that's 30 customers, and that's well over your steps to success. So don't get so scared of people shutting you down. Don't get scared of the no, because even if people aren't purchasing in that moment, there's still a contact that was interested in product that you can still build a relationship with. I'm still very active on those people's feeds that show interest but don't necessarily buy. So just be smart with those relationships you're building. Um, I'm probably going like way off of what I'm even supposed to talk about, but yeah, Courtney. <laughs> no, I love that. And, um, I love what you said about 
you know, gaining all of those potentials, even if only one person orders right now, and this is what I was going to say for my part too, is even if you only have that one person order now, I don't think of all those other potentials as like, oh my gosh, those other 50 people didn't order. I think of it as like, cool, I have 50 people who are going to order in January and I had one who just ordered right now, you know, like thinking of it like that. And that's just a mindset thing on how you're looking at it. You can either look at those no's as all these people are telling you no and okay, well, you just got one customer. So you can either look at it as they're all telling you no, or you can look at it as awesome. Well, you're going to have 50 more people to follow up with in January when they're going to order. So I love that part and I love everything that you said. Um, so thank you, Alyssa and Erin. Hello. Hey. <clears throat> okay. So, I mean, I'm just going to kind of share a little bit about my experience because I've been in, got, I promoted um, to Diamond my first, first go around five and a half years ago. I promoted to Diamond in November and <clears throat> Black Friday sales, obviously all that was amazing, but you know, what really propelled my business and being able to um, promote to double in February. And then we double promoted to presidential in July is because of all the work that I was doing this time of year. And so when I was going for ambassador, same thing, we were over a hundred DTs away, um, this time of year. And I was really plugging in and, um, really just planting seeds, planting seeds. When it came January, we were 84 away and we were able to make that happen by March. So the work, and I know it's because of the seeds that I planted this time of year. And so know that the work that you're doing now, it's, I, I said a quote to our leadership the other day. It was like, um, I'm listening to this book by Mark Batterson all in. And he said, you know, how don't ask God for the blessing yet. If it's not ready for that time, because you don't want him to bless you too early when it's not ready, because hopefully that makes sense. But it's just, he said it way different and it sounded better when I actually typed it out. But you know, you don't want to say, Oh, I want all these customers right now. And maybe your blessing is going to be tenfold, but you need to do the work. Now you need to put in the action steps. Now you need to talk to X amount of people because you're helping somebody else that's going to lead to something else. And so, um, you know, I would just say, get really organized for this week. If you didn't take the time to do that today, get organized, go through your list, add people, add your contacts into connect. I sent 300 messages out on connect today. And I, I told Courtney, I said, I'm not waiting till Wednesday because I know people don't check their text or they get busy in the week. And then by the time that they check the message, the sales already over. We have three days, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So don't wait until Wednesday. Don't wait until Thursday. Don't wait until Friday, payday Friday, because people are going to be out busy shopping. They want to know, like people bought the Sunday paper yesterday so that they can game plan their entire week of shopping going into Friday, Thursday night and Friday. That's just how people work this time of year. Um, I know I'm going to get a paper because I'm like, what if there's something magical out there that I need? I don't know. I like the hype of Black Friday. It's fun. So know that people want to know their game plan in advance. So send out the messages, send them out, plug it into connect. If you have an iPhone, turn off your iMessages for a hot minute and you can send a mass amount of text, turn your iMessages back on and you're not going to get blocked. Okay. Um, that's the amazing thing is you can get out a lot of messages. So plant that seed. I'm going through and I'm messaging potential distributors, potential loyal customers. Like Alyssa said, you know, anybody that you had had a conversation, you can search those keywords, message them. The worst that they're going to say is, no thanks, I'm not interested. But people want to know on sales. And um, I want to show you guys this because it was hilarious. So my friend, Tiffany Chapman, if you don't know her, but she posted this. Um, I had it pulled up and then she posted this image. And hopefully you can see it, but it's like your face when it says $35 plus $5 shipping and your face when it's $40 plus free shipping, something about free shipping people. I, I, I get like hyped about it. I'm like, Oh, free shipping. Okay. Like now I can order because I don't want to pay $5. Like I had something in my cart today from Amazon and it was like a sweater and it was $15, but the shipping was $15. And I'm like, I'm not paying that. I am not paying $15 when it's Amazon. So I'm not doing that. You know, so people want to know about these deals. They're going to add more things in their cart because they don't want to pay for shipping. They don't want to do it. Um, and people are starting, you know, it's crazy because I feel like this year more and more people are starting their new year's resolutions now. 
Um, the more people that I'm talking to, they're saying, I don't want to wait. I don't want to wait until, um, January 1st. I want to kick my habits into gear. I want to block the fats and carbs with either fat fighters or carb control. I want to do those things and still have my cheat meal, but not get so thrown off because now is the time to be putting in, putting in those action steps because you're going to have, you're going to have um, people that are going to start January 1st, but then there's also people that are ready to start now and ready to just have something for over the holidays. So don't write anybody off. You just don't know what's going to happen and make sure you're consistent figure out what is going to work. They're all out of school this week. Okay. They're all out this week. My husband's been gone um, Saturday, Sunday, and they're on their way back. So they haven't been back. So I've had two littles and they need my undivided constant attention. And for us, I told Courtney earlier, I was like, if I have to change one more poopy diaper, I'm going to flip out because he's had blowouts all day and yesterday and everything. And it's like, as soon as I lay him down, it smushes up the back. And I'm like, God, another bath. But I don't feel bad because I got up two hours before they got up and I sent out messages and I did my work. So that way I can be in full on mom mode because I knew that they were going to need that. Or I'm saving a certain action. Like I'm getting the messages. Maybe I'm saving creating content or my posts for the times that they're going down for a nap and praying to God that they sleep at the same time. Um, but be smart about it. Be smart about it. maybe it's waking up 30 more minutes earlier than you wanted to, but it's going to be worth it. So that way you're not trying to catch through, catch up throughout the entire day. And then you get to 9 PM at night and all of a sudden you're tired and you don't send anything out. So get super organized, get your routine together, get your schedule figured out because again, we're going to be repeating this in just a couple of weeks when Christmas comes around. So get just whatever that game plan looks like for you, what works best for you. Like I, I just know my kids wake up at seven so I can get up at five and I can get two hours of solid work done in the morning. And I'm just, I'm doing that. I'm making that commitment. And so I, I might be a little tired and that's okay. It's okay because it is going to be the thrill and the hype because you know that feeling when you're signing a, a loyal customer, you're signing a distributor, like, you know, that hype that it brings you. And so I'm, I'm all for it. I'm here for it. Um, and then don't hesitate to ask questions. You know, if you are not sure about something, I know there's a lot of different promos. There's a lot of different things going on. Um, but just make sure that, you know, you're, you're knowing all the rules of what's going on, but then actually putting in the work. And so you're going to see the fruit of that labor. Like if, when you're putting that in right now, right here and just go for it. Okay, if anyone else just listened to that and you didn't think, okay, if Aaron Tweed can work this business, I can work this business even during the holidays, you should have thought that because that's exactly what goes through my head every time I see one of her posts with her crazy kids and single mom in it this weekend, all of this stuff. So, um, and something that I love that you said is for even for me, like I feel like sometimes what keeps me from taking action is lack of organization because I don't know, I want to send messages, but I don't know what, what am I going to send? I want to make a post, but I, what am I going to post? And so getting those things organized now, and you know, I've even started, you know, Aaron messaging me this morning, how about this message for connect? So we were brainstorming with each other and then I was like, okay, cool. Now I know what to send. Now I'm ready to send messages and I relate it to my team too. And so asking questions that if you need help with a message, or just sitting down and brainstorming with someone for a few minutes to get organized because once I had it all organized, I was like, okay, cool. And I sent out like 200 messages today. So um, getting organized is so important. And also um, organization with, like she said, your schedule. And like, I've already been thinking about, okay, so I'm free today and tomorrow and part of Wednesday. And then Thursday, we're going to leave. I have to get up early and I'm going to do a power hour before I have to get food ready so that we can go to our family. And then we have two Thanksgiving. So I'm already like, okay, I'm going to work before I have to get the food ready. And then I'm going to work in the car on the way there. And I'm going to work in the car on, on our way to the next one. And then, you know, like already prioritizing that in your head so that you know what your schedule is going to be like so that you don't get to Thanksgiving day and be like, oh, well, I slept in too late. And now we have crazy things and now I didn't do anything. And now I'm stressed out, you know, and like Aaron said, you might be tired sometimes, but being tired is better than being stressed out and being like, oh my gosh, I did nothing for my business. And today was a total flop because I did nothing. And now nobody knows that I'm working my business. Nobody knows about Black Friday sales. You know, you're not getting any of that benefit. And so I love that. Um, one thing that I would want to hit on that um, others didn't talk about yet um, was how to word your posts around the holidays. Because I know that lately I've been focusing my posts. All my posts are like focused around the holidays. So it's like, who wants to make extra money for Christmas? Who wants to 
lose this many pounds by Christmas or by New Year's? You know, who wants to block fats and carbs from all your Thanksgiving and Christmas meals? Like all of those things, because that's what people are thinking about right now. And so if you shout that out and your people are thinking, dang, I wish I had more money or dang, I wish I could maintain my weight loss right now or lose weight during the holidays. When you say that and you include it in the holidays, they're going to be like, oh my gosh, I was just thinking that. Or wow, that would be really great. Because they're thinking in holiday mindset, like Tracy was saying before. And so connecting your post to that, and they can just be super simple. Like a lot of mine are just like with the Facebook color background. And it's just like, who would like to earn an extra, you know, $500 by Christmas? Okay, well, a lot of people would. So you're going to get a lot of people that need that. And so focusing your posts around the holidays. Um, and then also, you know, like I mentioned before, your mindset and motivation towards what's coming. And I'm not saying don't focus on your result right now, because obviously the more you work and the more seeds you plant right now, the more people you're going to have right now that are ready to jump, because some people are. But all those people who aren't, they're all going to be ready in the new year. And so let that get you excited. For me, like sometimes I have to like tell myself, okay, switch your mindset, switch your mindset, because I get into that too, where I'm like, oh, like I've messaged so many people today. And nobody's jumping on, you know, jumping on my follow-ups, but guess what? In the new year, they're going to be jumping on that and they're going to be super excited. And so that just gives me more for the new year, even though I'm still working towards my customers and my distributors right now as well. Um, and the last thing I want to end with, because we all know that people think about this during this time of year, is that this is the worst time to quit your business. And obviously, if you're on this, day, you're probably not going to quit your business right now. But if you're thinking about it, or if you're thinking this is getting hard, maybe I'm not good at the, good at this, maybe you know this wasn't meant for me, or I'm a one hit wonder and I'm not good at this anymore, it's not you. It's the season that we're in, like Kayla said, and we go through these seasons and they're gonna come again, so it's gonna come again next year. So prepare yourself for what it is like right now and build towards what's coming. Because if you quit right now, you're gonna be so mad at yourself in the new year because we're all gonna be hitting promotions, everybody's gonna be booming their business, and you're going to be left out because you either quit or you just quit working for the time being and you're not going to have that big of a boom season. So I am just going to leave you guys with that. We have so many things coming, Black Friday, Cyber Monday, brand new products, brand new product lines, all of the things. And so um, corporate seriously has our back. They know that this time of the year is, quote unquote, a slower season. And so that's why they bring out these awesome deals. That's why we have our biggest Black Friday that we've ever had this year. That's why we have Cyber Monday. That's why they're bringing out new products at the end of the year to help us propel into the new year. So just remember that you are in the right place at the right time um, and to hustle through this holiday season with a good mindset and asking for help when you need it and never quitting, especially at this time of year because huge things are coming. So I hope you'll have an awesome evening. Thank you all for tuning in and thanks to all our leaders who volunteered to pour into you guys tonight. Bye guys.